Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from your friends of the Democracy Freedom Movement for Fiji here in the United States of America. I uh, say greetings to my uh, chiefs and my elders of the Vanua in the uh, 14 provinces of our uh, beloved nation, Fiji. We would also like to thank all our viewers. It has risen to uh, 10,000 since our last uh, recording covering the murder of Nimilote Verimasana by the members of the Fiji military forces. Democracy Freedom Movement has continued its effort in releasing videos on the series of Justice Injustice following the illegal and the politically motivated incarceration of our elected Prime Minister we acknowledge the family supporting this production for the people of Fiji and uh, to this we say We are addressing all the uh, concern raised however our focus will remain on our vision confirming the role of the military in this illegal activity in our beloved Fiji on the year 2000. Most of you and uh, the international communities have been informed by local and international media that it was a civilian coup by George Spade and his rebels. In fact, these so-called rebels were trained, armed, fed, financed and supported by the Fiji military forces under the command of Mbainamarama, who is the current illegal prime minister of Fiji. How do we know this? Ladies and gentlemen, it is through the Fiji Military Forces Board of Inquiry investigating the events of 2000 from the 21st of August to the October the 24th, 24th led by Lieutenant Colonel Evans. It is also known and recorded in that report that Mbaini Marama himself refused to be interviewed when requested by the board. The uh, Democracy Freedom Movement believes the cause of justice and the rule of law. The universally recognized human rights shouldn't and must never be compromised. All should be equal before the eyes of the law. The government has its responsibility to protect its citizens and the nationals from uh, unfair and illegitimate process. The event of the year 2000 was created by the Fiji military forces, forcing Fiji into a state of emergency, justifying the call to engage them as the savior of our nation. This document, ladies and gentlemen, of the events report confirms our claim and confirms the position taken by the Fiji military forces. On the 12th of May in the year 2000, Bainamarama met his senior officers in Valilevo where he gave his blessings to George Spate and Lingairi before departing to Norway the next day. While this meeting was happening, the boys were already training in Vonua level without knowing what the training was for. On uh, this report, ladies and gentlemen, we will see that uh, 
the boys were hand picked based on their military ability and they were all picked from uh, the CRW uh, unit uh, Lingayiri has already taken his retirement leave and he was influenced by the uh, members of the Fiji military forces uh, secret negotiation to come back and lead the boys to parliament. The report also revealed, reading through the uh, 20 odd interview on this report, we will see that uh, on the uh, 17th, the boys were training at Makuluwa. They were segregated from the whole military forces on a very, sim very uh, uh, simple training, conceiving the uh, idea to overthrow the uh, parliament. They did not know this. They never been told that this is what their training is for. On the evening of the uh, 18th of May, it is also revealed in this report that uh, black plastic bags were taken into the parliament complex, claimed to be yams and bags of angona, but it was guns and ammunition, and they were stored away at the uh, Fijian Association Party Complex in their bathroom. And it is also revealed that Sikivo was told that it was all root crops and angona. On the 19th, early morning hours of the 19th, when the boys were transported under a private vehicle driven by civilian to the parliamentary complex, they were told initially that they will continue their training and they are being taken to the slipway in Watuanga. On the journey to the parliamentary complex, the boys did not know that they are going to overthrow Mahendra Chaudhry's Labour government. 45 minutes before the uh, military takeover, the civilian van was en route to the parliamentary contact, uh, complex. They were told, this is the real thing. It's not a training, it's a real thing. It is said that uh, they were told to guard the entrance and uh, some of them stormed into the parliament to arrest the Labour government and hold them hostage. In the evening of the following day, Fiji was declared in a state of emergency. The whole technique utilized in this uh, takeover was the utilization of these boys to conduct the dirty work so that Fiji is declared to be under a state of emergency. Thus, would lead to the need to engage the military 100% in becoming the savior of the nation and saving property, lives, and also the rule of law in the country. Bainamarama is indeed still away in Norway. However, he was in direct communication daily to the events happening in Fiji and he was well informed. It is also reported in this report that 30 minutes after the military takeover, Lingairi and a few senior officers boarded a military vehicle heading back to camp to brief to Otoko. In uh, this report, the officers interviewed also confirmed that there were three wings responsible to this takeover. One wing was the Vanua, 
the second one was the political wing the third one was the military uh, wing furthermore on this report they confirmed the Vanua and the political wing were very loose meaning with the two the Vanua and the political wing without the military participation would be able to uh, hold the task at hand meaning the uh, confine, confining of the uh, Labour Party uh, members. The interview fully confirms that in his own statement the officer said that it was the military that made it happen. It was the military that enabled them to arrest Mahendra Chaudhary and his Labour government. It was the military that enabled them to hold this parliamentarian hostage. It was the military that made the coup happen on the 19th of May 2000. The reports clearly states and implicate, as I've already said time and time again, the members of the military forces. These so-called rebels were not rebels. They were active members of the military. They were financed, fed, supported, trained to do this task. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, democracy freedom movement will not rest until this is surfaced because it is so important. Be Bloods of Fijian boys were bled. Families with out their dead because their dad was murdered by the members of the military uh, forces. The government has run into a lot of problems. Civil servants and families laid off from their work. Top senior civil servants were fired. These were all the implications. And your organization, the Democracy Freedom Movement, will continue to unveil this truth to see and let us know what the military has led us to. Thank you very much and we hope that you'll be standing by waiting for our next release summarizing all the various interviews that was conducted by the military and quarry board for the event of 2000. Thank you very much. Best wishes from the uh, Democracy Freedom Movement and please there will be an email attached and a phone number. Do write in your concern. If you have a question, write it. If you have something to share, please communicate with us. And let's all stand up together for the truth. And the truth set, set us free. Minaka.